My name is Anabat Rizhtudech, and today I'll be presenting on the project I have been working on for the past few months, which is the Brazilian public educational system from the inside. I have been working at the Centro Brasil Middle and High School, which is located in Fortaleza, Serra, Brazil. So my motivation to start this internship had to do with my will to learn about the disparity between the Brazilian public educational system and the private one. I spent some years in the public middle school and then I earned a scholarship to go to a top private school and I could see the difference in the infrastructure, the teachers and also the focus on um, having a lot of different possibilities for their students on where to go to higher education, how to get there. And I believe that they had lacks that lacked a bit in the public school I went to, which was already a really good public school in comparison to others. So I wanted to understand more how is the daily uh, basis of um, average public uh, high school here in Brazil. So that's why I went to Santa Luzia and I wanted to understand more um, what are your perspectives for higher education? How is the, how the resurrection works? How is there the routine of the teachers, of the students and all the workers at the school? So one of the things that really motivated me was uh, getting to understand better the access to higher education and how the students there see it and how the teachers there perceive it. Uh, so as you can see here, the percentage of those who enter higher education after completing high school in the public system is 36% compared to 79.2% of graduates from the private system. So I wanted to understand better what is behind this number. Um, so my work, and the school was basically these three topics. Uh, I worked as a substitute teacher for math. So I gave some math reveals, some previews of their next content. And I worked with students from freshman year to senior year. I also organized uh, the summer classes. It's the first time that I had summer classes and it was a two week long preparation for the national exam, uh, which I'm going to talk more about later. And I also did some science Olympic divulgation because science Olympic was something that I got involved in during middle and high school and it got helped me to get that scholarship and it also um, helped me figure out my interest for math and what I wanted to do after school so I thought it was really interesting to present it to them. In the summer classes we had this two weeks of preparation for the national exam uh, and then which is how the uh, federal universities admit their students and the federal universities are for free so they are, they are the most accessible one for the students so we wanted to focus on this exam uh, we had five other volunteers. We had classes from math, science, and social science, humanities, and some writing essays preparation. Uh, we had 18 students with, uh, which earned diplomas. Uh, for earning a diplomas, they needed to go to at least 15, 50% of the classes, and the 18 students correspond to 4.8% of the student body. So I was really happy with this number. I got to know them better and to show them how it's like to be a college student. And so did my friends, the other volunteers, and how it is to how can you get there, and what are some of the possibilities. This is some of like also the lectures we gave during the summer classes about how to get to higher education and how to choose a major and other topics. So that was a really great experience, and I really believe they enjoyed it. And I took a lot of lessons from the teachers, from the students, and from the direction there. So I learned about the students who drop out, which in this student year which started in January for the Brazilian calendar, um, already 15% of the students dropped out, um, most of them to work, and it's mostly seniors and juniors, which is really sad. Um, but that's something I learned about while there, and also about the federal curriculum and other bureaucracy. So for example, the federal curriculum um, says what the teachers should be teaching uh, for a determinated grade. So even if the students do have to review like the four basic operations for math, the teachers still need to keep teaching them uh, complex numbers or matrices, even though they cannot understand. And that's just wasting everybody's time. But that's how the federal curriculum goes. And it's not very personalized. And I also learned about other bureaucracy. So for example, how hard it is to hire a temporary teacher if there, some teacher needs to take an absence. So for example, one of the grades uh, doesn't have a chemistry teacher for the whole semester. And they're really, um, that's really prejudicial to them. So I learned about how public policies and how uh, it affect um, the school and how there's a lot of things that is out of their control. And it helped me to figure out my next steps and how I want to um, work in public policies uh, in the next opportunity. 
So I would like to thank um, the Office of Community Engagement and especially the Anglo-Desma for this opportunity. I would like to thank the team of the Santa Lucia Middle and High School. Uh, they're really welcoming. Uh, and I would like to thank the volunteers who taught the summer classes, which was really important for this project to work.